Wow, it's so light. What is it? What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna look at some lens, especially this lens here, the Samyang 35mm f2.8. These are uh, full frame lens. I will shoot with this uh, little guy in the end of the video. Currently I'm shooting with uh, Minolta lens. We'll start with uh, an unboxing. We look at uh, build quality. Then we will take uh, the camera out and we will gonna look at some uh, picture quality examples. So I will shoot some uh, uh, videos and some uh, uh, pictures. So you can uh, decide on your own if it's a valid product for you or not. And remember, if you want to see more of this content, uh, please make sure to hit the subscribe and like button. That will let me for going forward with these videos and will support me a lot. Without further ado, let's dive in. And here is the box that just arrived. As you can see, it's very compact. And it's also very light. Something that immediately comes to my eyes is that this lens won uh, three awards here, as you can see from this picture. So it's uh, it won a design award, I have. It also won a Red Dot Award uh, 2018 as a winner. And we can see here also the TIPA logo. So actually this lens won the TIPA Award 2018 award as best prime lens, which is uh, very good. At the bottom we can see that uh, was made in uh, Korea. Let's open it. There's not much in the box apart from some papers and lens. We can see the lens uh, uh, come in a convenient case. And now as soon as I open it, you will understand why I chose this lens. So it's very easy to answer this question. It's mainly one word, portability. And that's it. Thanks to its compact and lightweight build, these lens are perfect to carry around, whether you are on the go or maybe they just need a daily photo lens. But they will be surely great also for all of those of you that do street photography. On top of the compact design for mirrorless cameras, you can also take full advantage of the full frame screen and sharp image quality. Even if it's designed for full frame cameras, uh, you can always use uh, these on uh, APS-C Sony cameras. But obviously in that case, uh, it will be comparable uh, to a 52 mm lens. And as you can see, is uh, extremely compact. What you can't feel is that it's also lightweight. So if you think that these are just 85 grams, uh, basically when you attach them to the camera, it will be like uh, you have no lens at all, I guess. So I'm very curious to try this lens attached to the camera. Let's look at the back of the lens. Uh, the back will reveal uh, a metal mount. So actually, this is maybe not even metal. Maybe it's plastic or a very thin metal. And uh, you can see all the contacts. Uh, since uh, obviously this is an autofocus lens, you can use all the different autofocus uh, systems that you have on the Sony camera, so all the options will be available. Uh, what we can also see in the back is that uh, we are missing the weather ceiling, which is kind of expected at this price range. Let me check the focus ring. Yeah, the focus ring is very pre precise as move. 
so it should make this lens perfect also for video usage we obviously don't have integrated uh, stabilization here which is uh, also expected at this price range but that's not a big deal as i can use uh, the internal stabilization of the sensor for my sony camera also we can see there are no additional buttons whatsoever here but so far i have to say i'm very impressed by this small guy it's very lightweight it's extremely compact plus you also get this nice additional case and uh, if you think about the price uh, this is even more astonishing so you can get these uh, prime lenses full frame prime lenses for just 200 bucks which is insane and especially when you compare to a similar lens so, the, so its direct competitor would be uh, the Sony Zeiss uh, uh, 35mm 2.8 which costs exactly three times the price of this one what we can do is also to remove this lens hood integrate it so the lens will be even more compact now and as we can read here you can use a 49 millimeter clipper so if you want to get rid of this you need uh, obviously another cap i will mount this again for now also for additional protection in the end the overall build quality is more or less in line with what I expected if it's actually really a little bit plastic in fact it is not sure about the back if it's metal or just plastic uh, just covered with uh, metal finish and uh, I have to say that also this hood is nothing special because as you can see here it moves a little bit so probably I will just take it off from the time being but apart from that it's really amazing so it's like you don't have any lens at all you i can't even feel the weight and it's so compact that it just uh, yeah i can just keep it with just two fingers so now let's check how this lens perform
let's compare now the details among the different uh, pictures so i took the same picture with the different uh, focal range on the left you can see open wide at 2.8 on the right you can see the same picture taken at uh, 3.2 let's zoom in in the center we don't see much difference in this case so 2.8 is pretty sharp in the center but as soon as we move in the angles we can already see some differences in terms of sharpness also here we can see it's less sharp Let's move on, 2.8 on the left, 3.5 on the right. Also here we can see the number on the right which are much better readable. There is an additional increase in sharpness. Let's move on to F4 on the right. Or to the center is more sharp. And this is a comparison with F5. Still increasing in terms of sharpness. And now let's compare it with the maximum focal that we have, the F22. Everything is at focus and really sharp. Nevertheless, at uh, 2.8 we still have a uh, pretty good result, very acceptable. So what do you think of the picture quality and everything? Uh, something I had to mention is that the current firmware on uh, this lens is uh, the version 0.3. There is a newer version out, uh, 0.5, which is supposed to uh, enhance and uh, improve a little bit things on the old focus side. So I will probably shoot a new video after I will upgrade that firmware. Uh, unfortunately, it's not so easy to do that because you cannot simply do it uh, through the camera like you do for other lenses, like other Sony lenses. So in this case, uh, Samyang sells uh, a um, lens station that you need to connect to your computer in order to uh, be able to upgrade the firmware. So as a final recap, the price is amazing. For 200 bucks, uh, you cannot expect more. You get uh, prime lens, full frame lens. It's true without stabilization, but with uh, Sony Alpha is not uh, an issue. Build quality is uh, acceptable, I would say, at this price range. So um, there are some things that probably I didn't like so much, like for example, the um, unavailability of uh, a weather ceiling, or for example, uh, this lens hood that um, yeah, doesn't seem very firmly placed so uh, it might even uh, fall on you sometimes so there is, uh, there is also a risk to lose it performances are above average with a high resistance to flare it's also very sharp um, at uh, also at f.2.8 but um, all over the focal range i would say so for that you can see more details in the pictures I posted and uh, zoom in a little bit uh, in other areas in order to really get the differences between the different focal ranges. 
Autofocus is good, even if not the fastest one around, and sometimes uh, it loses uh, the, the focus on the subject. Um, this has any way to be tested with the new firmware, as I said. Um, bokeh is also really nice, uh, maybe not so smooth like other full frame lens at f1.4 or 1.8. Nevertheless, it gives a great uh, result. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I filmed the initial part with uh, some Minolta lens, vintage lens, uh, the middle part with the Sony lens kit, so the 2870, and this final part uh, you're looking at the Samyang 35mm itself. So you can get an idea on how the overall picture quality is. So that's all for today. Please remember to like and subscribe, that will help me and um, follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook, you will find the links in the description below as usual. Also let me know what you think about this review, about the pictures and video quality of this lens if you're going to purchase them. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this lens if you're going to purchase them, what you think about picture quality, autofocus and so on. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.